And what up everybody, welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. This is Feral Comics, the comic book zine anthology with cartoonists from around the world that I publish. And this is our Earth Day special, Art by Conceivable. And today I want to get into a zine review. I am not too sure who sent me these two zines, but man that I love reading these zines. It had been quite some time since I read some sort of political theory that really pushed and pulled at my core concepts of anarchism as well as revolutionary thought. This, of course, was probably the most interesting one that I read. A World to Lose, A Universe to Gain, Phase 1, From Nab Gib to Big Bang, Association of Autonomous Astronauts. Now, I didn't even know what Association of Autonomous Astronauts were until I got this zine. Let me go ahead and define that for you guys very quickly. Association of Autonomous Astronauts is a worldwide network of community-based groups dedicated to building their own spaceships. The AAA was founded April 23rd, 1995. And so for two reasons. One, as a revolutionary anarchist, I loved this idea, this concept of the revolution won't be on Earth, but rather it will be in space, which is true because space is starting to become the new frontier. And as we see the Jeff Bezos and the Elon Musk of the world trying to basically lay claim to the to the space and to the universe, we as working class people, we also need to start laying our claim. And I feel like this is the argument that they're making. And I think it was just spot on brilliant. And this was uh, one of the portions I love the most, right? What is needed is an alternative to the alternative. A program that begins with the rejection of the spectacle's preeminence and holds no definitive end. An alternative that yields to individualist self-determination in place of concessions to reactionaries and counter-revolutionaries. The only alternative possible, autonomous astronauts. In our hearts, we all know Earth will not be saved. Every revolt is cut off from its mode of success and advance. The Empire squats solidly upon its own immunity. However, this does not mean the proposed systems in space will necessarily fail. What will a socialistic community look like without imperialism imposing on self-determination? What will anarchistic communities look like when freed of the threat of state violence? What objectives, what plans, what lives, what adventures are there when the oppressions are abandoned and we float away from the world? Not disabled by this illusionment, but unburdened by it. No gods, no master. No gravity, no problem. This was such an interesting read, man. There's a Facebook group I think I might have to join because this really hits home for multiple reasons, right? As a revolutionary anarchist, at times, I kind of feel what some of the writers in here were talking about of like this disillusionment of like everything doesn't seem to contradict the status quo, but rather to, to uh, as they say, to fix or as an additive to the status quo. And so their argument is instead of continuously trying to fix something that's broken, to tap back into an old anarchist thought of like destroy to build. And the idea, the concept behind that was that to destroy the fundamental building blocks of this system, which we don't want in order to create something new. And in space, it's already a blank canvas. Once again, kind of like a Firefly situation. I don't know how many of you guys have seen that Firefly show, but that was the idea that in order to have freedom from this imperialist power, this band of like would-be sci-fi cowboys went as far out into space as they could. And that's the same motif for like Star Wars. So this for me is hitting on two notes. It's hitting on one, my, my anarchistic revolutionary kind of like attitude, as well as this sci-fi world that I've lived in uh, through literature and through movies and things like that, that now I'm, I'm beginning to realize through this zine that it is very, very possible for us, if we begin to build it, get into a situation like that. Once again, as the Elon Musk and the Jeff Bezos begin to lay claim to the universe, if you remember like the Alien Saga series, it was that basically that, that space had been privatized. And like, we can't just allow them to privatize it, obviously. But we also need to be able to lay claim to it. So this thing was amazing. This in here as well was a lot of it was about revolutionary kind of ideas and thoughts. And uh, the one I liked the most was this. And I love this part. 
you know, I feel bad for Karl Marx because he died not knowing he was a fucking hack. And the argument goes on from there. And he starts talking about the flaws of Marxism. Now, as a revolutionary anarchist, trust me when I say that I have argued and debated with a lot of state socialists. I have argued and debated a lot against Marx and, and the faulty thinking that Marx had. Trust me that Marx is a very flawed character and I do not, as well as this writer, understand why he's still held in such high regards by a lot of people. Because there's even anarchists that are definitely diehard Marx fans and I am not one of them. But yeah, man, this this writing is strong. This writing here seemed more manic and, and it seemed very like a free flow of consciousness. So some of the words really hit home, but some of it did not. You can definitely feel through this writing that the writer is not enjoying what it is to live. And I and I understand, right? Like capitalism will put a burden on you, like your bills, your the things you have to do to maintain your livelihood and all that will will put a burden on you. But as Emma Goldman said, you know, if your revolution doesn't allow dancing, I don't want any part in it. Because the reality of it is as we fight for freedom, we have to attempt to be free. Because we have to kind of know what we're fighting for. And if we don't, if we lose sight of what it is we're trying to build, then we've already lost. So, you know, I, I hope the homie gets solace and I hope that he keeps writing because genuinely uh, this writer from this zine, which was a solo zine, is also in this zine. But I'm not going to mention him just because it says no contact address. Fuck you. Slap you right at LOL exclamation point. And so I feel like the, the writer wants to be anonymous. And so I'll leave it at that. Um, beyond that, man, please like, share, subscribe. And once again, if you're into sci-fi, if you're into uh, building autonomous communities, check out Association for Autonomous Astronauts. And beyond that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.